email about some dogs that needed help who were actually all victims of the great flood of Louisiana. And this woman, Linda, had been taking care of them ever since. So when I was told that one dog in particular was in pretty bad shape, you know, all kinds of things go through your head. There, there's so many different issues that could be waiting for me. You know, this was one of those situations where when you pull up, your first reaction is like, whoa. It's all right, buddy, it's all right. You're out here by yourself, so they're probably just being protective over you. This woman, Linda, you know, was doing her best to take care of all these dogs. You know, they, they weren't hers. She just took them in to help them. She had no transportation. You have a good Samaritan who, even though she had barely the means to take care of herself, she still reached out to help these dogs and was now reaching out for help from us. DC, they all named after guns. That's DC, that's Magnum, and um, yeah, that's gun. That one really needs help. When I first saw this little tan pit bull, whose name was Gun, my first reaction was, you know, pregnant? You know, she was, she was huge. But you don't think she's pregnant? No, she's not pregnant. She just looks like it. It's super, like, heart failure or something going on. My next thought was, you know, possibly heart failure, because a lot of times with heart failure, their bellies, you know, fill up with fluid. Now I'm gonna go get a leash, and then we'll get her in my truck. The other dogs, they were, you know, tied up outside, and, you know, there was one dog in a fold-down crate. <laughs> it's okay, DC. And she did say to me, you know, I need help for all these dogs, but let's deal with this issue right now, because this is urgent. <sighs> Here, Mama. Hey. Come on, Mama. I'm always a little cautious when approaching a dog that's, you know, chained, tied, or tethered. But um, the dog's demeanor was still really happy-go-lucky. Hi. Hi. Come on, Mama. She's a small dog. And to see her belly, it was huge. And it was hard. Come on. It was definitely had me Come stumped on. for a minute. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, you're gonna help me? Oh my goodness, I know, I know. Come on, come on. There you go. So we're gonna rush her straight to the vet to have Dr. Kristen look at her. Hi, Mama. Oh. All right, come on. What's her name? Gun. She's on a total country dog. Can we get on the scale? Say, oh, yeah, I feel street. I smell treats. Come on. Come on. Good there girl. You go. Good job. Good job. 46.1. All right, y'all can follow me. Hey. Hello. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I know. The lady that was there, she says, I don't think she's pregnant. I'm like, oh, I don't think she is, but I don't want her to be pregnant. But at the same time, you know, what if this is something really, really bad that could kill her? So maybe being pregnant would be, you know, the second choice. Yeah, this is not gonna be babies, this is gonna be fluid. Fluid as in heart fluid? Well, I'll have to get some to see, but you know, likely. That was the good ones. I know. If Gun's not pregnant, I would definitely say this is something serious. I can definitely tell by the look on Dr. Kristen's face and the way she was talking that she didn't feel it was good. Come on. It's um not just straight fluid like it looks. I mean, there is a little fluid mm -hmm. in there, but it's almost got like a, a mass effect. So we, we put the ultrasound on it and it doesn't look like it's not just fluid. There's mm -hmm. something else kind of. Um, like a tumor? Yeah, I'm worried about that. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, we don't know exactly what it is yet. I mean, mass can mean a whole bunch of different things. There is something in there that's displacing all of her intestines away from where they're supposed to be. So do you have to open her up? Yeah, okay. just see exactly if we can see what's going on. Um, you know, it just worries me. It's taking up so much, you know, of her abdomen that it's pushing everything, you know, right. away from it. So <sighs> leave her with me, and then we'll just kind of see if we can figure it out. So this is what I was worried about. Something this big inside of her has a very good chance of being cancer and definitely being life-threatening. This dog is now going to require major surgery. She's like, I don't like the way that sounds. I'm going to sit so on you know, her. you're sitting on my broken leg, but that's OK. That's OK. Oh, geez. I'll let you do that. I'll take one for the team. Yeah. 
I don't know if we can fix you. We'll try. This little dog, she's got the spirit of a wolf, you know? She's just, she's strong and she's outgoing. Come on, gun. You can tell she wants to live, so this is so unfair. So I got a call that Gun has gotten through surgery. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dr. Christian's liposuction! <laughs> it old tummy tuck. When Gun came out, it was shocking. I mean, it was shocking. Half of her body mass was gone. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> oh my God. She's 34 pounds now. Look at you. She's like, I don't know what the big fuss is. Once I knew it wasn't going to be heart failure, I was like, oh, you know, it's probably going to be something so bad. And we yeah, knew it wasn't going to be puppies, you right. know, from the ultrasound. The last thing in the world I imagined was that it was a tumor associated with an ovary. It was an almost 12-pound tumor that started off growing in her ovaries. It's like inserting a bowling ball inside of you. And then my biggest fear was that, you know, being that big, it was going to be stuck to the everything and I wasn't going to be able to remove it or it was going to be spread everywhere, you know. She was a little shocky after surgery, and um, we did end up having to give her a little blood. But mm -hmm. she, um, after that, you know, after we kind of got control of all that, she did great. Talk about keeping you humble and keeping you on your toes, you know, of all the things that was not on my list. She's just like, nothing's wrong. And her blood work looks great. God, nothing wrong. And with she's, she's a like, sweet, sweet yeah. I would put the Superman collar on her. <laughs> I was like, you deserve this. Gun is still recuperating. She's got to deal with heartworm treatment next. She's not out of the woods yet, but um, it's looking promising. All right, Gun. Come here, you. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Oh my God, you are amazing. You are amazing. Your personality matches. You yeah. are amazing. I have never seen anything like that in my life. Me neither. All right, kiddo. Gun's recovery process is going to take a while. Probably saying probably total about a year. Oh, no, don't jump. We just had surgery. Okay, come on. We got staples. I'm trying to help you with those, too. Oh, you're a great dog. Okay. All we can hope is that after that time comes and goes, that she's healthy enough to someday get a home that she so deserves.